Some people will be aware that I tested the KJetronic engine control unit on the red car and found it completely dead. I have repaired it and now we're going to do some tests. Here we have my setup testing the KJetronic controller from the red car. Um, basically just set up what I can because uh, this connector is getting rather busy and uh, the good thing is each additional sensor I add is changing the error code that it's currently stationary at so it is working um, at the moment we're looking at the minus duty cycle of 80% because uh, with these things, the duty cycle it's talking about is the off time, not the on time. A common misconception. As you can see, it's off 80% of the time and on 20% of the time. The current error code is drive mode engaged. I'm not entirely sure what that is because there's no reference to that. Um, that's with the engine not running and just ignition on. It knows the engine's not running because there is no TN signal input, which is the uh, RPM signal from the EZL. But if you look further into the diagnostics manual, 80% with the engine running is missing data exchange with the EZL. I'm not sure if that's applicable, but the EZL is not here anyway, so there is no serial data communication occurring. So it could well be it. Um, just to give you an example, um, notice that 40% uh, control plate of airflow sensor is deflected. I have ripped that up, and I shall just deflect that, and we will see the off time changes to 40% verifying that it's talking about the off time and not the on time and as I let go of the plate it goes back to 80% um, this resistor I have set up here 270 ohms this is simulating an engine at operating temperature between 70 and 100 degrees Celsius because it also wants to see that for this test Coolant temperature not between 70 and 100 degrees Celsius will give you a 30% duty cycle error in this test. Just to show what happens, disconnect that. And the minus duty cycle indeed goes to 30%. Just reconnect that. goes back to 80. So as far as I can tell this ECU is now fully functional but the ultimate test really is to take it out and try it on my car and hope it doesn't destroy anything but I'm pretty confident it should be fine so let's go and do that now. Now remember what I said about some meters measuring the on duty cycle versus the off duty cycle. In this case this meter is in fact reading the on duty cycle. So that's why it was saying 70%. It should actually have been saying 30 because the engine was cold. Now it's in the warm-up phase and 50% is normal for it to be locked at that until the engine reaches operating temperature. Uh, further to the issue with meters reading the positive versus negative duty cycle, you can simply just swap the polarity of the leads around if you want to read the off time versus the on time. Um, the way I have it shown here is incorrect for this meter, but my K-Jetronic works extremely well and it does oscillate around 50% anyway, so it doesn't matter which way I connect it. So now we have seen the engine reach operating temperature and we can see it happily switching between rich and lean. 
for the no longer functional catalytic converter. But this tells me this ECU is absolutely perfect. And I couldn't be happier. That's one less thing I have to worry about for my res red project.